Here we are in section 4-5, exercises number 7 through 12. Use the formulas for money totals. And you might have to make up your own. So how do we get money totals? Yeah, Q is quarters, D dimes, and nickels, P pennies. So Q, so here, the formula, we're going to have quarters, dimes, and nickels. That's 25 cents for every quarter, so times by the number of quarters, plus 10 cents times the number of dimes, plus 5 cents times the number of nickels. So look, we just made up our own formula. We didn't even need to get one out of the book. All right, so we have 15 quarters, so that's going to be 0 0.25 times 15 uh, plus 27 dimes, so 0 0.1 times 27, and 13 nickels. That's 0 0.05 times 13. And yeah, you could just count this out on your own. Every four quarters is a dollar, so that's going to be three dollars and seventy-five cents, three point seven five. Or you could do it over here, 0 0.25 times fifteen, and you get five times five is twenty-five. Carry the two. Five times two is ten. Plus two is twelve. Then put a zero there. One times five is five. One times two is two, and uh, five. Two plus five is seven. 1 plus 2 is 3, with two decimal places, 375. So either way, 375 plus, you got 27 dimes, that's $2.70, and uh, 13 nickels. Let me see, 12 times 5 is 60 cents, so this would be 65 cents. Okay, so let's add those all together. Um, let's put this over here. We can uh, 0, 7 plus 7 is 14, 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 2. 2 is 6. So we get 640 and then 65 cents onto that, 0.65 onto that. 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 plus 6 is 0, carry a 1. Um, so $7, 5 cents. Good. Number 8. Uh, let me see, it's going to be 0 0.01 times the pennies plus 0 0.1, 10 cents, times the dimes. And they didn't tell us what P and D were. We're kind of stuck with that formula. So there we have it. That's it. Um, good. Let me see with this one. It's going to be 0 0.01 times the number of pennies plus 0.25 times the number of quarters plus 0 0.05 times the number of nickels. And P goes in for P. Q goes in. We're stuck right there. Can't do any more than that. Kind of interesting. They had us write down the formula but didn't give us like actual numbers to stick in. Huh. Okay, number 10. Use the formula for temperature conversion. Remember, this temperature conversion is C equals 5 ninths, parentheses, F minus 32. Okay, so we have 5 ninths times 3,000 minus 32. We just stuck the 3,000 in for the F right there. So 3,000 minus 32 is going to be 2,900 and... Uh, 68. And we're going to times that by 5 and then divide by 9. Oh, shoot. Okay, 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3 is 48. And 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14. So now it's this divided by 9. See, we're going to take this 2968 times by 5 and then divide by 9. Okay, 9 going into 14840. Oh, we might get a few decimals here, uh, or at least one. Okay, 9 goes into 14. How many times? Once. 1 times 9 is 9. Subtract, it's a 5. Drop down the 8. 9 goes into 58. 6 times. 6 times 9 is 54. Subtract, and you get a 4, 4. Drop down that 4. 9 goes into 44. Uh, not quite 5 times. 4 times. 4 times 9 is 36. Subtract, and we get an 8. Drop down the 0. 9 goes into 80. Uh, 8 times. 8 times 9 is 72. Yeah, 72. Uh, subtract, and we get an 8, and drop down another 0. Hey, it's going to be a point eight, and that 8 is going to repeat, 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 repeat. So if we round, we get 16, oops, 16, 48.9 degrees Celsius. Ah, oh, that was a long one with that long division. We got it.
Okay, number 11, 45 degrees. So we stick 45 in there and we get 5 ninths times 45 minus 32. 45 minus 32 is 13, so we get 5 ninths times 13. 5 times 13 is 65 ninths. So take 65 divided by 9. 9 goes into 65 7 times. 7 times 9 is 63. Subtract and we get a 2. Uh, put a 0 there. 9 goes into 20 twice. That's 18. Subtract and we get another 2. So it's going to be 7.2 on forever. It's round at the nearest, eh, I don't know, tenth, 7.2 degrees Celsius. Notice this one was a point eight 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 eight. So every any time we stop, we had to round that up to nine. But this is a two going on forever. So every any time we stop, that two will just round, round down. So it stays at a two. Okay, the next one, um, negative two seventy three Fahrenheit. Ooh. So we got to put a negative, so Celsius is going to equal 5 ninths times negative 273 minus 32. These are both negatives, so they actually add. So that's a negative, let me see, I'm writing it over here, 73, negative 32. These are the same. That's a plus. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 7, 10, carry a 1, 3, negative 305. So we get negative 305. Oh, I shouldn't circle it. And then we're timesing by 5 and dividing by 9. So let's times by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 0 is 0. Plus 2 is a 2. 5 times 3 is 15. So now we have 1525 negative, And we got to divide it by 9. So let's take 1525. Divide by 9. 9 goes into 15 once. Subtract, and we get a 6. Bring down the 2. 9 goes into 62. Oh, not quite 7 times. 6 times, 54. Uh, we get 8. Drop down the 5. 9 goes into 85 9 times. It's 81. Subtract, and we get a 4. So if we drop down that 0, 9 goes into 40 4 times, which would give us, let's put it up here, 36, subtract, and we get a 4. And so that will repeat. So it's going to be 169.44444. So if we round, it'll always round down to the 4 degrees Celsius. But remember, this was a negative. So negative 169.4 degrees Celsius. Good.